Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a new product to your e-commerce store. So to start we need to log in and I'm in the Fastways control panel and I'm going to go to website builder and I'm just going to select my package from the list that pops up. And that was that one there, an example domain.co.uk and from there we're just going to log in through the control panel. Okay, so this is just loading up my website now, and the, at the moment I've just got this uh, the the main image. I haven't got any products on there. I have set some products up, but they're not showing on my site. So to display your products, that's just a little thing I'm going to show you first. We can just add content and go to store and add in the store widget there, and that's going to load up all the products that I have previously added. So. That's just going to take a second to load because it's loading up all the products I've already added. But that's how you actually add the products to your actual storefront. So there we go. So these products I've already added. So to add a new one, we're going to go to site editor at the top there. And then we're just going to click store. And this is going to take you over to your store back end. Now, once this loads up, we're going to go to catalog and products. And you're going to see... Uh, the products you've already added, well, you might not have. However, if you're just starting out, you might have these samples here. Uh, so sample, sample, sample. So these are the ones that come as default. Uh, you can dis you can delete them. Uh, personally, I recommend disabling them um, just because they're quite useful if you need to sort of have a look at what they've done, if you need to check any of the options. They're useful just to have in there to look later. So if you do want to disable them or enable them, you can check the ones you want and then just bulk update enable or disable so like I say just for me I just um I disabled them all at the start okay so to add a new product we're just going to click on add new product there and here we've got the page now there are quite a few options at the top here I will cover them briefly but there are the more in-depth in guides and videos that go into those options in a little bit more detail but I'll briefly cover them uh, at the end so first things first let's give this product a name so I am going to add some apples to my store here SKU is the stock keeping unit and that would be like the barcode on the back of a product that you'd normally see. Uh, you only need to really worry about that if you're selling stock offline um, as well as online. Um, but yeah, the store will automatically add, uh, give you one if you don't add anything there. So you don't necessarily need to worry too much if you're unknown only. But you can add it in. Um, weight is in kilos and that's used for automated shipping so if you've used the option for automated shipping um, then make sure you get the weight accurate just because it will help the automated shipping process calculate the shipping costs accurately. Uh, this is going to be about a kilo I think. Um, and description so you've got a what's called a what you see is what you get editor here so you can add things in like images, links, videos. You can make this description really come alive to sell the product. I'm not going to do that because it would take me a little while. I'm just going to say a bag of apples. Now, it's not going to get me so many sales, but for the purpose of the video, it works. OK, so now we've got a name and the other options. I'm going to add some images. So we've got a couple of options. You can click on upload images there and that will bring up your your whatever device you're on. It'll bring up the file explorer. So I'm just going to add one. You can select multiple as well, um, depending on the device you're on. It's control and click for Windows. And then you can just either drag them over or you can click open. So we've got some images now. Now, the one on the left is going to be your main image for your products. That's going to be the one that's displayed in the link and things like that. So that's like the main image. And then you can add a few more other images as well, uh, just so your customers can kind of see what they're buying as well. So we've got some images. If you want to change, if you say we wanted this one to be the main image, we would just pop that one on the left. You just drag and drop to do that. OK, next up, we've got pricing. So I'm going to put this as a pound. And we've got a few more options for pricing now. So we're getting into some of the things that you might not have on your current plan. I've got the, the highest level of plan for this example. So you might find some of these options aren't available on your plan. But I'll go through them now. And if you haven't got the options, that might be why. OK, so first up, compare to price. Let's put that as £2. So what you're doing here is essentially putting the product on sale so we're saying the price now is a pound but it should be two pounds so on your store it's going to show as being on sale 
and that two pound will be have a strike through and it will say pound is the sale price bulk discount pricing so say we wanted someone the, the option to have bulk discount we can do that so if someone buys five or more we could set the price to 90p for example and we can then add another row and we could say if you buy 10 or more it's going to be 80 pence for example per unit so we can do that and you can keep adding them um, useful option if you want to encourage bulk buying next up we've got enable pay what you want pricing so that's if you want someone to give a donation so for example if you're a charity and you're offering like a charity single for example you could say pay what you want and that'll give the, op the customer the option to just donate however much they want but if you if you click on the, the you don't enable it straight away but if you click on that it will give you a warning about what will be you it will disable some of your other options but it's all listed there um, and you can just enable that there but i'm going to leave it disabled for now so next up we've got product availability if it's enabled it will be listed in your store and available for sale we can click disabled there what you might want to do is just disable it while you're working on it disable it save it and then as many you can save it as much as you want and it won't be live on your store uh, it wouldn't have been live until we clicked save anyway but like i say you can disable it till you're done working on it if you want so stock control we are able to set stock control for this product so at the moment it's set to unlimited but we could set a limit of 50 for example and you can have a stock alert if it reaches a certain level to let you know you're running low pretty straightforward that so we'll hide that and we're pretty much there for this so if we click preview product we get a bit of a preview of how that product is going to look to your customers so we can see it's on sale at say 50% um it's got the stock levels it's got the bulk buying discounts that we set and it's got the images that we had there too so let's take a quick look at these uh attributes and all of these other options at the top so attributes just give you a few options here you can add your own um, by going to manage attributes like I said, i'm not going to go into much detail with all of these but it allows you to set things like the brands um, and lots of other things just helps customers see uh, link products together options you can have product options and variations so i could have green apples red apples that sort of thing files allows you to add downloadable files for product purchase so if you're selling music for example you could add a, a, a link for the music to download tax and shipping just allows you to go through the shipping rates and all of that sort of stuff search engine optimization shows you what your what this page what this product is going to look like in a search engine result in search engine results as you can see i don't really add much to it so it doesn't look particularly exciting so what you can do is change the um the page title and the meta description which is what shows there um so this doesn't show this doesn't change anything on the page it just changes it um in your meta information related products and um, so you can have this so uh, on the product pages it will show related products so you can sort of set up links to uh, the products that customers might be interested in and the buy now button allows you to uh, embed this product into other areas of the store um, and uh, yeah it, you can just click on there like i said i'm not going to go into too much detail on that one so let's just take a quick look at this we need to make sure we save it let's go and have a look on our store so here we've got the home page that's our products if i just refresh that's the product that was enabled with any luck it will just be in our product list there yeah there we go apples so that's how you add a new product thanks very much for watching goodbye for now